The words the best ever are often overused in sport, but in 10-pin bowling, Olivia Bonku can safely be acknowledged as the greatest ever female bowler. a native of the Philippines, is a four-time world champion and has won a staggering 77 medals in regional and world events, with 37 of that total being gold, making her the most medaled Filipino athlete of all time. Dubbed Asia's Bowling Queen, she was enshrined in the World Bowling Hall of Fame in its inaugural ceremony in 1993. But despite Ku's brilliance, the game came to her by accident. I married at a very young age and uh, I got separated after four years and I was really broken hearted so uh, my family asked me to just come out of the of crying of sulking and just uh, have some fun so I went out to bowl with them one evening it was a family affair and they somebody spotted me oops you have talent and I practiced and practiced and practiced uh, as a therapy after my separation and before I knew it, I was a champion. Along with fellow Hall of Fame inductee Paing Nepomuceno, they transformed 10-pin bowling in the Philippines. When the two were at their peak, bowling rivaled basketball and billiards for popularity in the country. But the Skittles game had an advantage in that it was producing world champions. I think it made bowling a priority sport. It made it showed that Filipinos can be world champions in this sport. There's a very few sport that uh, the Filipino are competing in that has uh, given us world champions. And I think uh, we made a name for ourselves. For much of their time, Ku and Nepo Museno traveled the world as sporting ambassadors for their country, winning tournaments as far afield as Europe, America and Australia. I think uh, it's both our dedication and the discipline. Paeng is a very disciplined bowler and the fun thing is that uh, he loves the game and the way I love it too. Uh, there was a time that we would uh, we didn't have so much support from the government during during our days but we go out of our way to just uh, be able to make ourselves better mentally, physically, and also uh, to go out of our way to, perform, to compete in as many tournaments as we could. Bong Ku was already a known figure on the world bowling circuit when, in 1979, she had her best ever year winning the World Cup and two golds in the ladies' doubles and the all event at the Quadrennial World Championships. The latter victory is acknowledged by the Guinness Book of World Records as the highest points totaled in an individual event by a woman. It's exciting, you know, because I, I could see people would do anything under the sun just to be in the Guinness Book. You know, you, they, they cross the lo longest bridge or they, they grow the longest beard or something just to be in the Guinness. And I cannot imagine uh, being a Filipino uh, in the Guinness Book uh, was really awesome. Many more titles followed, and because of her remarkable mastery of the sport, the World Bowling Writers Association in 1993 honoured her by inducting her into the WBW International Hall of Fame in St. Louis, Missouri, together with Paeng and Sweden's Annette Johannesson. It was really something that I never expected to be an inaugural enshrinee. We had a, there were about uh, hundreds of nominee nominations from different countries and for two Filipinos at that to be the first uh, inaugural in enshrinee to the International Hall was indeed something that was um, a fulfillment. We were only three, one Swedish girl uh, elected uh, as an inaugural inductee. So it was really something that I never dreamed of and I was, I was really very happy about that. The Asian bowling queen won her 107th and last individual title at the Hiroshima Japan Cup Amateur Masters Championships in 1997, six months short of her 50th birthday. And in 2000, she was voted one of the Philippines Athletes of the Millennium. Okay, ready. Back. 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 
formerly retired from active competition, she now teaches bowling, which is part of the curriculum at the University of the Philippines. Here, hundreds of undergraduates participate in the sport as part of their degree program in physical education. Although Bong Koo is still on the lookout for the new generation of bowlers, she believes it will be difficult for any newcomer to replicate her stunning achievements, which spanned three decades. The difficult thing now is that because of uh, technology, uh, the equipment has been so powerful that now the skill factor has been diminished a little bit. And so there is no one that really dominates the game because anybody can just score well. And that's probably why it's so difficult to, to maintain being a champion. In retirement, Ku has also added an entrepreneurial string to her bow by setting up her own clothes manufacturing company, which sells bowling apparel to individuals and teams across the world. My business is, is very successful. Uh, I'm now supplying the shirts of most of the overseas, overseas workers, uh, Filipino workers in Saudi Arabia, in Singapore, in Japan and Australia. And uh, when I started the website last year, I have a lot of uh, overseas uh, orders that we're trying to meet. And I'm already thinking of uh, adding a few more sewing machines and a few more space for the printing and expanding a little bit. Everything Bonku touches seems to turn to gold, but despite her recent achievements outside the sports arena, she will always be remembered as the woman who put bowling on the map in the Philippines. It gives me a feeling of accomplishment, uh, the fulfillment that my hard work paid off, that the direction I took after my separation was the right direction. I was, uh, I did the uh, right discernment, you know, when I discerned to become a bowler, rather than be I don't know what, <laughs> and it makes my children proud of me, and most of all, I did service to my country, and I think that's the most important thing. As one writer put it, a single shot in the dying moments of a game makes a hero, but a lifetime of brilliant victories makes a legend. And Olivia Bonku is certainly a legend. <laughs>